uh, and the raping, robbing uh, of African people. And so that lawsuit that Deirdre and others uh, fought on uh, uh, popularized uh, these crimes, uh, exposed these crimes against humanity. Uh, and the, um, the ascendance of these original capitalists who right. invested in African and black right. and brown skins are living high. I believe life. it. Uh, we built the White House, on, I learned in my certainly studies. Certainly we did. And I have a petition, you know, <laughs> that says change the name of it and honor our ancestors and pay reparations for that as well. That's right. That's right. Um, mm -hmm. The other thing I wanted to fast forward to the DRC, yes. the, um, uh, the Durban Review, Review Conference, Conference. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, of April 2009. Yes. Mm -hmm. And talk about that. Uh, again, this uh, this was part of the Durban uh 2001 uh, process. Um, what had been agreed after uh, the World Conference Against Racism sponsored by the United Nations in 2001 was that there would be a five-year review and then there would also be a 10-year review. And so there was supposed to be one in 2006, but uh, George Bush and, and other you know members of Congress uh, fought the United Nations on that having it. So they moved it to 2009. And so um, um, what what occurred there was there was supposed to be a review of what progress had been made since 2001 on dealing with these issues of race and racism and this this implementation, I'm sorry, implementation of the Durban program of action, right? And of course, the United States hasn't done jack, and I won't use that other word. Well, of course, hasn't done a thing, right? In right. fact, they refuse to acknowledge uh, even that um, the Durban uh, Declaration and Program of Action that called for reparations actually existed. And we're and talking so about Durban, South Africa. Durban, for those South. Who might not. Yes, no. where the 2001 conference, conference was held. Conference took place at WCAR. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right before uh, uh, the. Um, the bombings the of, of the World of Trade Center and, yeah. and, and the other uh, planes uh, right. cr crashing yeah. as well. And so what this, this conference, again, was about was to bring together the, the states as well as the grassroots folks, the, the NGOs, the non-governmental groups, to talk about the progress. And that's what we did. We also, uh, the United Nations reaffirmed Durban, reaffirmed that declaration that occurred in 2001 and um, even though I think there were nine um, states that boycotted including the United States of, of America again including with Obama the state in charge with Barack Obama who's a former supporter of reparations before he became the chief representative of the US Empire yes okay and uh, just to digress just for a minute, yes. uh, you worked with Obama in Chicago yes. when he was a community organizer. Yes. Talk just a little bit about that experience and, and what happened. <laughs> well, Barack is like, um, and I don't say this to be uh, arrogant or anything, he's like many of us. He has a black genius and like, uh, and he's, he was a brilliant and uh, dedicated uh, community and labor organizer, uh, because he worked with a lot of uh, uh, laid-off uh, steel workers as well. I was a, a steel worker for eight years, and he worked with a lot of the laid-off uh, steel workers to help find services and jobs, and, and that came through co collectivizing our struggle, because we had folks who were, who were killing themselves and others. So he was and in some tough areas. Years. Yes. And so um, um, he's a good man. He's also attended the same church uh, as... Chioke Bakari's mom, uh -huh. uh, uh, Trinity uh, United Church of Christ, uh, Dr. Uh, Jeremiah Wright. Right. And so he's a brilliant brother, but he's become, as Dr. Wright said to me uh, when he was here in San Francisco recently, uh, Barack has become a politician. Uh, and uh, In the worst this, sense of the word. Yes. And so it's really what I say is not up to Barack. It's up to us, as it always has been. In fact, we had a slogan back in the 80s in Chicago when we were electing Harold Washington and others. It ain't the man, it's the plan. Right? There you go. It's, it, it's not even the woman. Cause we had a, we had a, 
a female mayor prior to that, Jane Byrne. Right. So it's, it's, it's not the man or the one man, it's the plan. And that's what we must always stick to is what is our agenda and continue struggling for that. For our agenda. That's right. And we have like one minute left, so yes. I would give that to you to mm -hmm. um, make any announcements you might have. Yes. Um, well, if I may, I just want to say that uh, thank you again, Asante Sana, uh, Sister K K Kilu. I want to call you queen and warrior and all that, but you say no, it's just sister. No. And so, uh, I'm an sister Kilu, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> and um, uh, for all your work and your spirit and your your commitment to the struggle, uh, particularly to our in prison leaders, because you've been a rock for all of them, and uh, for all the wisdom that you shared, all the love that you shared. And I wanted to mention that there are youth out here who praise you, uh, like Brother Adisa Banjoko uh, and Brother T Cash, you know, folks who have been on oh, some of my CDs. Kind, but and they to clean they out of time, and I have to say, and, uh, yes. I have to cut you off. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank uh, Steve.